Good morning. How are you? Uh, today, I was going to tell the story of how I had bad teeth and how it came to be that I lost my teeth. But as I was doing my research to, to back up my story and to sell my doTERRA product, I decided that I'm not going to tell that story. You know, I have an excellent toothpaste, and I'm going to put the description of that in the bottom because it whitens your teeth, it freshens your breath, it helps your immune system. But I'm not going to talk about that. And I was going to talk about my On Guard oil that you can buy mouthwash, but I like to make my own. I put it in a glass bottle, and I love it. And I'm putting that in the description too below because I think that, uh, again, my video is going to be a little bit long because when I started doing my research for the oil pulling, I got sidetracked into bad breath. And I'm, I'm going to read a lot from my notes. So you, you forgive me for my reading because I kind of wrote a lot. So, uh, so what I found that bad breath can be deadly. Who would ever thought that somebody with halitosis could be dying? But it's possible. So I'm going to share with you for what I found. Okay, I am going to assume that you have good teeth, you get, have good hygiene, you take care of your teeth very well. So I'm not going to go into the steps that you need about brushing your teeth and carrying about your mouth. That's just going to take time, and if you don't know it, you need to learn it. But I am assuming that you do. And you still have bad breath, maybe. So I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about bad breath. You know, almost everybody deals with bad breath sometime in their lifetime. You can't get past bad breath. Because there's just reasons that you get it. But you can't overcome it. Okay, do you have bad breath and do you know the cause of your bad breath? So I'm going to read this list of why you may possibly have bad breath. You have cavities and or gum disease. You have dry mouth, GERD, kidney or liver failure, peptic ulcer, intestinal blockage, and food, the foods that you ate may be transferred into your bloodstream and then you breathe out the foul odor from your lungs. Do you smoke? Do you he drink heaven? <laughs> Sorry. Do you drink a lot? Okay, halitosis or bad breath can be very embarrassing. Um, and it puts restrictions on your, on your behavior, how you talk to people, how people react to you. Um, how you love making turns out. If you or your partner has bad breath, they're going to pull away. I mean, because it's offensive. No, you know. And, and another thing it does, when you have this going on, it drags down your self-confidence. It just kind of wipes out your self-confidence. And we don't want that. And we have ways we can fix it and to understand it. And that's where we're going to go today. How can I fix it? How do I understand it? Okay, 
But you know, there's two main causes of bad breath. Uh, eating certain kind of foods and the way you care for your mouth. You know, your mouth always builds bacteria. You can't get past that. So, um, eating the food stays in your mouth. The other, the food goes into your bloodstream and it comes into, it's transferred to your lungs and then it comes out as bad breath. You breathe, you breathe bad breath because uh, it could be that you eat garlic or onions. It, it could be a number of reasons of the food you eat, you know. <laughs> Don't hold garlic guilty. It may not be garlic or onions, onions at all. So, you know, don't worry. Be happy. Because if you're eating garlic or onions and that's giving you the foul smell in your, in your breath, eat apples or applesauce. Raw apples are the best. If you, you, you can't eat them, you can always put them in the blender and eat them. And that... And your leafy greens are going to neutralize the foods that are causing your bad odor from your lungs. So remember, eat your greens, eat your fruits. That's going to help you a lot. Okay. You know, maybe somebody offends you by giving you a peppermint candy is a nice way of saying your breath stinks. Don't be offended. Go find out the reason. Go to the dentist and ask the dentist, why do I have bad breath? Okay? Now, the reasons you can have bad breath are many. You can have the fruity and sweet smell from your breath. And you, if you have that, you have diabetes or you've been on a low-carb diet or you've been fasting and your ketones are out of whack. Or you may be developing diabetes and you don't know that you have diabetes. So when you have that sweet breath, m maybe you need to get off your keto diet or maybe you better go get your A1C tested. So, you know, that's... There's three reasons I listed. Low-carb, fattening, ketones, that's four, and diabetes. Rotten breath. You have an abscess or an infection in your mouth, your throat, or in your lungs. Okay? It can also be from badly fitting dentures, crowns, or other devices you hold in your mouth where the, the debris is getting in there and you're, and you're not cleaning it well enough. So if your dentures or your other devices don't fit properly, that can cause a growth area for bacteria. Now, your breath smells like nail polish remover, acetone. And that's the same as sweet breath. Uh, it could be from fasting. It could be from low carbs. Uh, the ketones got in your blood. They get in your lungs and you get the sweet breath. But mostly the acetone happens in type 1 diabetes. But it can happen in type 2. And, you know, it comes from the keto diets, the fasting, heavy drinking. And... Uh, your body naturally makes acetone anyway. Sour breath. I have had sour breath because I used to have GERD. I kind of kicked that in the butt. Thank you. That's a thumbs up. How about feces breath? If you don't know the word feces, that means shit. You got shit breath. And that means that something is blocking the flow of the waste in your body. And it's coming through your intestines. It could be obstruction. And you definitely need metal 
attention if you have feces breath. It can be caused from bloating, vomiting, cramping, nausea, or constipation. And this blockage can be deadly. So if you have that smell, get to the doctor. If you have ammonia or urine breath, you have kidney damage. Musty breath, you have liver damage. Maple syrup, if, you're, if your breath smells like maple syrup, you need a medical attention because your body's unable to metabolize three amino acids. What about sweaty breath, sweaty feet? Uh, you're unable to break down proteins in the body. You don't have the correct enzymes to break down the proteins. Now, doTERRA has an excellent product for that. Now, I'll try and remember to put it in the description. My description is going to be very long. So, sweaty feet breath, you're not metabolizing your proteins correctly. What if you smell like a fish? Have you ever met, have you ever seen somebody who smells fishy? Uh, their sweat, their bodily fluids, everything is just fishy? Not a good sign. Call your doctor immediately. You would never imagine that bad breath has so many negative things about it. But most of the time, bad breath is just a simple lifestyle change. Uh, you find the, the root cause for your bad breath and you fix it. You know, you got bad teeth, you got periodontal disease or something like that. You know, you just take care of it. Eat your apples, your applesauce, eat your leafy greens. Uh, okay, so if we go to the uh, non-medical reasons how to fix your breath, you know, the applesauce and apples are going to fix the, the lungs so you, that you breathe out good, fresh air. Now, if you have a dry mouth, dry mouth dehydration, that's going to cause bad mouth. So you want to drink lots of water. And you want to chew a non-sweet gum. And, and doTERRA has a nice gum if you're worried about weight loss and everything. Check out the Slim and Sassy gum. I like it. <laughs> but that, the chewing, that brings the saliva into your mouth. And that actually does kill some bacteria and stops the bad odor. And another one, you could rinse your mouth with baking soda. Just swish it around in your mouth two to three minutes. Get everything out. Make everything sweet. And I'll put that recipe, how you're supposed to use it, down in the description also. Uh, pineapple juice. I drink a lot of pineapple juice. And pineapple juice is said to sweeten your body to make you more kissable. I don't know how true that is, but I like pineapple juice just the same. And honey is another option. Uh, you can swish that around in your mouth. Uh, it has a powerful antimicrobial properties that help kill the bad bacteria in your mouth. But at the same time, it allows good bacteria to grow. Now, I had promised to do some, to do, you know, a talk about oil pulling. But I really don't want to make this video very long. So, I will come back again.
because this subject is very deep and there's lots of things that we can take care of our teeth and our body with. So I'll, I'll come back and uh, do the oil pooling very soon. Uh, so please remember to like, to share, and subscribe. And also remember, oh, excuse me, I am not a medical professional. I am just doing my research and, and giving you the information that I find. I, I am a wellness advocate, and the m main goal of my uh, videos is to share with you my life. And, and this research is part of my life because it's something somebody asked me to do, <laughs> and I just kind of overdid it. But another main deal with me doing my videos is to support myself by selling my product, my doTERRA. And you, can, you will find that link in my description below also. And it's my dot doTERRA dot com forward slash genie 24. Uh, I think I've told you all about that I need to tell you today. And I send you my love and best wishes. May your day be bright and beautiful. Love you. Bye.